Got an Osage Orange bow that I'm getting ready to send you back. I just uh, finished it up the other day. It's pulling right now. It's uh, pulling about oh, 40 pounds at about 20 inches or so. I've got it tillered. Tillered good for now. I'm going to send you back and then finish it up. But we're going to use uh, three different types of sinew. I've got wild turkey sinew. And this is uh, basically there's a sinew that it's right at the base of the wing and goes out in the through the tenderloin part of the breast. <clears throat> now, I've already stripped out quite a bit of this. It's pretty uniform in size. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, I've also got some elk sinew down here in the bottom. I've got quite a bit of that. And I've got quite a bit of it already uh, uh, pulled apart. And then the last is uh, a deer. I've got a bunch of backstrap uh, deer sinew. So we'll get uh, get it all stripped out where we've got plenty of that and we'll get started. What I'm going to use for glue is a combination of fish glue and sinew glue. Just boiled the leftover sinew down and made glue out of that also. So we'll go ahead and size, uh, start sizing the back with the glue. Okay, I got my glue ready. We're ready to go ahead and size the back of this back of this bow. I'm gonna take it towards the tin. I've recurved the tips a little bit, and so I'll probably take it down the sides a little because I'll wrap a little sinew around the around the ends. Keep it from peeling up. And we'll get the other side. Finish up. We'll let that dry a little bit before we start putting the sinew on. Right, we're starting to put the first layer of uh, sinew down the down the middle of the bow. I'm just overlapping it just a a little bit. I just keep grabbing a little bunny of sinew. Stick it in the glue and squeeze off the excess. Then flip it over and get the other one. Then I'm overlapping, you can see where it ends here. I'll bring it up an inch or so. I'm going to roll the next one right along the middle of the back and just kind of pushing it pushing it down in there kind of flattening the sinew out And we'll just keep going. We'll get a single, single roll of sinew up and down, and then we'll start on the sides, and we'll stagger it where this one ends right about here, and this ends here. We'll stagger the next row so it overlaps. Kind of look, looks kind of like uh, stacking bricks. So 
we'll keep going with this first layer. And then we'll get back All right, to we've got our first, got our center strip of sinew all the way down. And now what we're going to do is uh, come in here. You can see it probably best right in here. You can see right in here where one started and then another one started here. What we're going to do is going to take this length and we're just going to slide it up. We're just going to overlap. Now we'll, we'll do uh, one on the left side and one on the right side and take it uh, you know, both ends. And that'll be the first first layer. And then we'll put three more layers. We're going to put four layers all together. Okay, there's the first layer of sinew. Get it uh, all the way across. So now we're getting ready to start. We got plenty of plenty of glue left. I changed my water. Things are getting pretty sticky. But uh, we'll go ahead and start the next layer of uh, our next yeah next layer of sinew. Okay, we're starting on the second. We're not starting. We've got the center center strip on our second layer. What I'm doing is pushing it down into the previous layer. And all I'm using is a piece of river river cane. Let me kind of show how to come over here and get a, kind of a close up. Is it showing the All I'm doing is sticking it down in there, getting it good and wet. And then just squeezing off the excess. Sometimes I use a spoon to make sure it gets covered good. Well, that keeps your, your sinew lined up good and basically you got a flat bundle of sinew that you're ready to lay on. And overlap. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. But then just start from your center and kind of work it in into the previous layer. And you'll see it spreading out as you as you work it in. And it doesn't have to be 100% smooth on the outside because you're going to come back and scrape this and sand it a little bit so we'll keep going until we get the second layer all the way down well there's the finished senior back and I did one ahead and did the rest it's just the same as the first first part as far as putting it on and I wrapped up being that you've got the curve on the recurve part I went ahead and wrapped some sinew around it to keep it from potentially peeling up We'll buff that, work that in. So at this point, let's, uh, we'll let it dry good, and then we'll start working it. We're going to end up putting, a, I think I'm going to put a Western Diamondback uh, rattlesnake on the on the back of the bow. So we'll let it dry good, and we'll keep going.